Hey guys, Uncle Bog here, and welcome to another FIFA 20 player review. And today, guys, we're in the 91 rated Chelsea Croatian midfielder Mateo Kovacic. Another fantastic looking team of the season card. I was able to pick him up for 193,000 coins in the free games that I did play. He did score me three goals and got me five assists. And he does also have a four-star skill moves as well as four-star week. For getting into the game stats, his main standout stats will be his 91 shot power, his 98 short passing, as well as his 93 vision, and finally his 92 balance. And I did also have the finisher cam stat applied to him. He does have the traits of flair and the two AI traits of technical dribbler and playmaker. Now, quick updates on how I'm doing in foot champions. I have finished for the week. I got gold free, which I am so happy with. I have I had six games left, so if I wanted to, I could push on. Um, I could technically go three wins and three losses and get myself gold too, but I'm mentally exhausted from playing FIFA, so forth. Once I got gold three, I thought I'd just go into the Vision Rivals, buy cover search and have some fun on there. I've had enough of foot champions. I know gold three doesn't guarantee you a major league player, but even so, um, you know, I'm still happy to finish gold three and at least get the chance of still maybe getting a big boy uh, Premier League team of the season player. But uh, cover search is coming in at just under 200,000 coins, and I think it's quality once again. I think... Um, I think as a, as a box to box midfielder, superb. I think as a CDM, he would also be good. He's got fantastic defensive stats, but I think he's just probably more better used. I think you probably get more better out of the card using him as a centre midfielder. I think if you're looking for a CDM Premier League team of the season card, I think Ndidi is 100% the guy to go for. And I also think that Ndidi as a centre mid is also very good. Now, I will be honest, between this Kovacic card and Ndidi, I'm going to tell you guys right now who I think is better. I would say Ndidi... <sighs> I think as an overall well-rounded player, I think Kovacic might be, might be slightly better in that I think he's got a little bit better of an end product when it comes to scoring goals and stuff. I still think indeed he is good with like long range shots and stuff like that and he's got a very you know he's got very good shot power and stuff i think it's a cdm indeed you know if you're looking to buy a Premier League cdm card you do the indeed the spc he is absolutely superb but as a box of box midfielder, because obviously both of them go for like a similar price of course indeed would be a, you know an untradeable card and um, but as a center mid maybe just about cover such a thing could go for um but even so obviously both cards are fantastic but anyway let's focus on what i enjoyed about this cover such card his passing quality five assists in the three games in division five foot rivals that was obviously superb 93 vision 98 short passing 91 long passing i mean five assists that you can't go wrong with that whatsoever johan cruyff and hernan crash but i've been doing absolute bits for me in this weekend they've been absolutely superb and i went back into the vision rivals and they continue to do absolutely fantastic the 4-1-2-1-2 formation that i was using last week just wasn't working out for me whatsoever i've gone back to my favorite formation uh, you know over the past few years in fever which is the 4-3-3-4 variation formation and, and it just works for me. It's the only formation that seems to consistently work for me in FIFA. I don't know why, but I just like the formation. And, and you know, and it worked well. And obviously, Kovacic uh, came in with five assists in the three games, which is absolutely superb. Um, and then also was dribbling. Again, another big pro to the card. Four-star skill, which is fantastic. 91 agility, 92 balance. Um, 90 ball control, 95 dribbling. Class there all around. He feels very similar in that sense, too. He, he, he does remind me a little bit of, um, of Thiago team of the season. I don't know how similar their stats are. I'm guessing in dribbling and passing, they've probably got very, very similar stats. I think probably on the whole, Kovacic would slightly be the better card than Thiago. But, um, but you know, just to kind of give you guys a little bit of like, you know, what, what, what you know, what you can expect from him. He, he is a similar-ish style player to, 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 you know, to Thiago, who was also a very, very good card to review on the channel as well. But um, yeah, dribbling happy days there feels very nice and agile. Can get in between defenders and opposition midfielders, which is obviously uh, very good. And also his tackling as well. He made quite a few tackles for me, even just like a box-to-box -box centre midfielder. 92 interceptions, 90 uh, defensive awareness on a centre midfield, the 90 defensive awareness. This card might actually have better stats than Marcel Desai. I've been thinking now, if I get some big boy rewards in Foot Champions this week, maybe Desai might have to be sold. I don't know. Uh, and certainly if we get Lu if, if La Liga's next week, everything's going to get Luis Suarez, 100%. I don't even care, but uh, certainly in the uh, in the tradable cards anyway. But, um, but yeah, it's tackling all around, very impressive. I didn't think his defensive stats would actually be as good in-game as what they were. I was very, very impressed. He made quite a few tackles for me on, on, a, on a number of occasions. In terms of like finishing chances, he scored me one amazing goal. Like He hit it like on the half volley from outside the box. He just scored a penalty on like one of the goals as well. He did miss a few chances, which I thought maybe he should have done better with, or maybe it was just me kind of getting like mentally drained from the game because I have been playing FIFA for like about... 
three or four hours today constantly yeah getting this video done also just playing foot champions to try and there uh, to get that gold free secure but uh, on the whole is it a card that's worth buying absolutely you know if you get him in your in your guaranteed team of the season SBC later on this week or if you get him in your um you know in your foot champion rewards it is a fantastic card to go for is it like the big boy Premier League team of season cards no it isn't it is one of the lower rated cards but at the same time it doesn't matter he's still going to do a good good job in the you know in the midfield and uh, yeah I know he doesn't have like the big name like Aguero or Aubameyang or Salah or Mane um but but, but he's a solid card at the end of the day, and um, I think certainly as a sentiment for the card from the Premier League, he's up there with the very, very best, in my opinion. Really, really good cards. I very much enjoyed him, and I do think he is worth um, the value that he goes for on the market. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.